Hi, my name is David Curtis, and I was blessed to be able to attend the Faith and Politics Institute annual Congressional Civil Rights Pilgrimage last weekend, hosted in Charleston, South Carolina, with the Frederick Douglass Distinguished Scholars Program at American University. And as a sophomore student studying issues surrounding sociology, justice and law, race, and African American history, I found it incredibly rewarding and enriching to be able to be in South Carolina and be in Charleston and other places and learn specifically about the impact that these places and these people have had on the progression and the and the and the, and the catalyst of the civil rights movement. And I find it equally as important and as viable understanding that the people who participated in so many of the events and the marches and the massacres that we had learned about during that weekend were ordinary men and women, such as myself. And I find it so beneficial to know that the civil rights movement is more than just King. I understand that his work was centered along the backs and the blood and the bruises of so many who went before him and so many who followed after him that made a statement that stood up when faced with difficulty and injustice that found local and innovative and authentic ways to challenge and push back against systems of white supremacy within their daily lives and I find that incredibly encouraging as a student and as a student of color to know that these were quote unquote ordinary people who made such important strides to changing the face and the landscape of America. And it's important to me because it allows me to know that everyday people tasked with the right mission grieved by the right injustices and, and courageous enough with the right heart can go and can change the world and that they may be unsung and that their history may not be the most documented and their stories may not be the most told but what they have done has changed the lives of everyone who follows them and the progress that we get to enjoy can never be separated from their lives, from their work, and from their sacrifices. And it makes me all the more a more grateful person, a more grateful student, a more grateful black male, and a more grateful American. And so I am so overjoyed. My head is still reeling. I'm still sobered and humbled by the examples that people have set before us, people in Charleston, people in Orangeburg, the, the lives that were taken, the jobs that were compromised, the securities that were jeopardized, personal securities, personal lives, personal families for a cause. And I'm so thankful and I'm so appreciative of that. And that is the ultimate gift that I was able to learn and understand while embarking on this pilgrimage with the Faith and Politics Institute. And I'm so thankful to be able to hear from incredible trailblazers such as Congressman Clyburn, Congressman Lewis for their work and dedication to the American country through activism, through policy, through, through speaking up and standing out and being exemplar examples of faith and courage and hope and peace that can solve all. And so I'm grateful and I am so blessed with this opportunity. And I look forward to attending another pilgrimage and having another transformational and spiritual and life altering experience again. So thank you to everyone who has helped me to be able to attend the Institute. I am ever so grateful. Have a blessed day. Goodbye.